at Foundry, you allocate about 25% of your capital into seed stage managers and 75% into Series A through C companies. How did you and your team arrive at that conclusion, at that breakdown? Why why 25-75? Why not 50-50? Like, could you talk to me about the rationale behind that for kind of LPs out there who are thinking about a direct investment strategy as well? Yes. Um, so again, in uh, portfolio construction um, is yet another piece of strategy that should play to the strengths of the firm. Um, and then also the math has to make sense. On the fun side, um, a common um, goal uh, in LP land is you want a three to five X your venture portfolio, right? Like that's that's what we're looking for. Obviously, folks want alpha beyond that. Um, it's not as much of a power law game where you're going to have a lot of zeros. So you have to have a lot of 50 X's. Um, but three to five X is sort of, you know, the, the, uh, the table stakes thinking. Um, and so if you can call it four X, 25% of the portfolio on a net basis, then you're returning capital for the entire fund with just the funds piece. And it's a relatively de-risked, um, portion of the portfolio because it's, it's diversified on a look through basis. Um, you know, you're looking at hundreds of companies. Right. Um, uh, so that's, that's the, that's sort of the return profile of that piece. And so then you're sitting at one X and cost returned. Granted that may take longer because of, because of the length of the fur of the, um, uh, of the cash flows, but it, it's relatively de risk. So then you're sitting at one X and then all of the series A and beyond is the upside. Um, mm-hmm. which can allow you to take more more risk, 